this way, that we have uh, uh, the, the tennis going on, we are like a tennis, a tennis player. And uh, the tennis players are on the court, and they are the winners. But behind them, they have a team of support. And this team consists of the parents, uh, a community, everyone else who will be more important for 12 years to get to get this possible. I also want to congratulate the community uh, for this success. Uh, I should say to the students that we are proud of you and what you achieved here. And because we see you and our members and many of you to be the next leaders of the, of the community, that you will lead, lead us in the future. Uh, of course, we have to have a special thanks to the students who have hired. Uh, high, high scores, which we see some of them here, like 8.7 and, and so forth. But also, we want to congratulate everyone else who put the best effort. Uh, I just wanted to say that there are many opportunities for you. As uh, Dr. Sinsborn and Hajman, it's necessary that there's always different pathways to, to success. You can always find other members and other ways to. Uh, you know, the access to life. This is it's just the beginning, uh, it's not the end. So you just start it out, you just move to the next stage of your life. Uh, I think being in Australia, you are lucky in a country where there are always other opportunities. There's always other ways to succeed, or there are different pathways to get to what, to what you want to do. Um, as we also said, and also uh, as my said, as a community, we need everyone. We need the doctor, we need the trade management, we need everyone. So we complete each other. So, so although a special congratulations to the high achievers on the market that they achieve, but we also encourage others maybe who didn't achieve as much to, to just pursue their dream and just uh, keep pushing, pushing. Um, I just remember when I graduated, uh, the headmaster of that town who says that we didn't really graduate as an engineer. The thing we did for the of you, we only taught you how to think and how to find information. So I think it's the same thing of life. Like the schooling and even the uni after you graduate from uni, they only, only, only give you skills to research and to find information. They're not actually going to give you a job. You have to go and find, and find this job yourself. Now, in my field, uh, I work in IT management and uh, artificial intelligence, and we employ lots of, lots of staff there. And I can tell you that uh, uh, the degree itself is not enough. It's it just a piece of paper that might get you a bit, but it's not enough. Uh, like what the doctor says, you need the, the soft substance, which we call soft substance, which is the one that, uh, like a uh, being a good communicator. Uh, displaying confidence, uh, being a team player, showing leadership attitude. This thing is happening as you have to be a manager, it just means you have to uh, be able to present yourself, stand your ground, defend your point of view, and so on and so forth. Uh, being beyond time, it's also very important to get the respect of others. Uh, good problem solver, be able to deal with difficulties. Trust one's and others. So all these things we look at when we so I have to avoid something. Uh, being an engineer is not enough to get you to a job. You need to have these things as well. As well. Um, also, so I guess the thing on the field that I've been a pick, I think with this, they call it now the fourth uh, evolution, which is the information evolution. The job, the idea of a job for life is, is diminished a bit. Other than maybe it's a medical field, but it's changing. It's expected of the church. The person will change 12 jobs throughout their lifetime. And sometimes they're in the same field, sometimes they're completely different fields. So what you start today they might not be what you enter in five years or 15 years or so so. Uh, also I want to just this may be a scary kind of figure, but uh, the automation and the artificial intelligence. The research has changed it will wipe 30 to 40 percent of jobs you have today. So in 10 years time, 30 or 40 percent of the jobs you have today will not exist. But on the positive side, I hope there are new opportunities, new way of doing some of this stuff. Uh, so 
maybe you don't have those opportunities and jump in on that wave when, when it comes. Uh, the last point I just want to also talk about is uh, in relating to this and we're celebrating success here. But success in life, I was listening to uh, a psychologist defines this success. So education success uh, and even job success is only a small small part of global success. So he, talk, he talks about the balanced approach, which is interestingly the same concept in religion, where we, Namali was the, the leader of, 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 of the Ummah, but he's also uh, spread the job. He works and all the other prophets the same thing. So this uh, psychologist defined this as you have to have a balanced approach. If you work too hard and you neglect your family, it's not success. If you make lots of money, it's not success. So basically balancing education, employment, relationship with your parents, uh, loved ones, my wife or children if you have them, uh, the community, the Shia community themselves, you need your part of this community, uh, your success is, is will empower this community to succeed as well. Uh, your religious duty as well, so balancing that with everything else, and also enjoying your time. So also you need that, to have fun. So balancing all these things make you a balanced human being that, that is successful. I'll finish soon. Uh, I just kind of, from my experience, and maybe a different experience for the uh, you know, young people who may be born here, when I go to a job interview, I feel I have to be 150% better than anyone else who's going to apply for this job. So whatever you do, maybe 100% is not enough. You have to aim a bit higher. And that's 120, 150, just aim as high as you can, uh, as you can because that will get you somewhere in life. Um, the world and the future is open to the door for you. So just take it and you know, grasp the, the opportunity. Whatever you want to do, just work, work hard and you will, you will achieve it. Uh, and what, no matter what you decide, you become a doctor or a tradesman, whatever we all proud of you and, and what you do. Uh, and we all behind you and we're looking forward to see you as our community leaders in five, ten years' time. Thank you. Congratulations.